More than 22,500 migrants have reportedly died or disappeared globally since 2014 more than half of them perishing while attempting to cross the Mediterranean, according to a study by the International Organization for Migration IOM. A clampdown on Europe's eastern borders has forced migrants to choose more dangerous routes as the death toll in the Mediterranean continues to rise. Despite a drop in the overall number of arrivals, data compiled by the UN Refugee Agency shows while overall numbers of migrants attempting to cross the Mediterranean by the eastern route were reduced significantly in 2016 by the EU-Turkey deal, death rates have increased to 2. 1 per 100 in 2017, relative to 1. 2 in 2016, reads the IOM report which is released on Monday. Part of this rise is due to the greater proportion of migrants now taking the most dangerous route, that across the central Mediterranean, such that 1 in 49 migrants now died on this route in 2016, since 2014. More deaths have been documented on this route than any other migration route in the world. In the first half of this year, the IOM said at least 3,110 migrants have died or disappeared globally, which is lower than the figure in 2016, 4,348, but the risk of dying has increased in the Mediterranean even though fewer migrants crossed into Europe. More than 1,300 migrants rescued from Mediterranean in single day read more, the central Mediterranean route, ending at Lampedusa or the main island of Sicily, accounts only for about a quarter of almost 1.5 million people who have arrived since 2014 on all routes, but for 88% of all migrant deaths in the Mediterranean, it said. Last month, Amnesty International criticized Italy for taking measures to keep migrants away from its shores, which it said leads, in their arbitrary detention in centers where they are at almost certain risk of torture, rape and even of being killed. The IOM's report also complained about smugglers in Libya and Italy increasingly using less seaworthy vessels. Jean Guy Vato, head of mission in Libya for Midasans Sands Frontiers, told The Guardian nearly all the people rescued from drowning in the Mediterranean have been exposed to an alarming level of violence and exploitation. Kidnap for ransom, forced labor, sexual violence and enforced prostitution, being kept in captivity or detained arbitrarily. According to Vado, the majority of migrants in Libya live clandestinely under the yoke of smugglers or, for the most unlucky, kidnapping organizations. He added, Migrants going through Libya to reach Europe are facing impossible choices. Getting on a boat is very risky. Many die before they reach the European coast or a rescue ship.